and it is very important, and I agree. And we talked a little bit about the physical stuff, but what about feelings and emotions? What about emotional eating? Eating when you're depressed or, or eating to alleviate depression or stress? Uh, feeling kinds of things. Eating yeah, for... What, how does that real. feel? So how do you handle that? I mean, I it's one thing to... I go ahead. Think, I think that's very real, and here's what I would say to that. I am um, proof that eating and having, you know, those those indulgences doesn't take away the depression. It momentarily Uh masks it. So we tend to think, like, I'm so upset, like, I need some chocolate cake. I'm so upset I'm going to get a pizza. I'm so upset I'm going to do this. And you know what? After you do that, you don't feel any better. You're more upset because now not only Uh does that same problem exist, but you've just eaten sort of garbage that makes you feel awful. And so what I've discovered is that a focus on healthy eating, a focus on changing your body can help to combat a lot of that depression, a lot of those problems, because it's one area where you've totally taken control, where you're making like such good things happen that it's such a perfect place to channel a lot of your energy. You know, it, it, it's, for me, it's been like an enormous help. It's made me happier. It's made me more positive. It's made me be able to deal with real life sort of, you know, challenges in a much healthier, better way because I feel good about myself. Okay. So healthy eating, you have a, in the book, you talk a lot about carbohydrates and carbs. Uh, so, and you mentioned them as guidelines. So let's go over a couple of them. Why don't you just give us a couple? And then I had a a quick question about some of them in the book. um, So I think the the two things that, that matter for anybody, like I don't advocate a specific plan. I only share what I did. And I'm the first to say, like, I'm not a, a doctor, trainer, nutritionist. Like, I'm an ordinary girl who figured this out for myself very successfully. And the two critical things for me are eat less. Like, if you're overweight, you eat too much. It's like, it's plain and simple. It's like, you, you got to eat less. And so for me, it was avoiding snacking, cutting portion sizes, um, not eating as much, period. And then the second is what I did eat had to be smarter and better than what I was eating before. And I know from my diet history that low carb is my winner. And a few Mm. weeks ago, big, big studies came out that sort of compared low fat diets to low carb diets and hands Mm -hmm. down low carb one in terms of weight loss and overall health. And so, you know, that doesn't mean like you eat bacon all day, right? It just, (laughs) it means that you've got to know the carb content, you know, of of what you eat. And, and, and I was very, very, very strict on, on, on limiting my carb intake. I'm much more lenient now because I am trained to not overdo it because I've been in this for so long now. But um, whether low carb is, is, is your plan of choice or not, it doesn't matter. You, you, could, you could do paleo, vegan, like you do whatever you want. You're, you know, your plan won't work, though, if, you're, if your mind isn't committed to success. You know, I was pleased to see that you and I have the same uh, kind of outside-the-box idea about fruit. And I tell people fruit juices and small amounts of fruit. But you say avoid all fruit. Let me hear your rationale I on do. that. So I have, like, I eat berries now. But I, you know, I we think that, like, fruit is, like, super, super healthy for us. Right, and for someone right. who's losing weight, a lot of fruit is not because it metabolizes to sugar that's ultimately stored as fat. And so, you know, I see people all over New York City and, frankly, everywhere I travel who are downing these, like, you know, 40-ounce big gulps of smoothies and fresh juices and thinking that that's going to help them lose weight, I, I want to, like, take it from their hand and say, like, yeah. sweetheart, that is killing you. Yeah. Like, how about, John, is, how about the companies? Not- how, how about the companies that are selling the stuff and marketing it, like Jamba Juice, marketing it as health foods? I know. That's but you know what? You know what? For some people, it's okay. And I think that, you know what? It's, we have to take personal responsibility. And so, you know, it's up to us to make smart choices. For some people, um, they can have unlimited Jamba Juice, and they're going to still be, you know, perfectly healthy and at, a, at an ideal weight, and, and, and their body can do it. But if you are overweight and you want to lose weight, like, that's not your friend, you know? A gigantic you know 40 ounce thing of jamba juice like just that's not your friend <laughs> so um, what are you what and are your... it'd be better for you to have like a bowl of of berries than a gigantic thing of you know smoothies so what is your favorite delicious yummy food that nobody would ever have a problem eating that people could eat a lot of or that you could eat a lot of pickles is one... what is pickles it pickles is like my i'm in love with pickles still to this day <laughs> Like so, garlic, sour, crunchy. I, I only like one kind of pickle, and I'm like a total pickle snob connoisseur. And they like they're hard to find, but they sell them in supermarkets here, and they're just like crazy garlic, sour, crunchy, unbelievable mm. pickles. So you're exploiting. Don't you you're want exploiting, a pickle now? 
Uh, I really do, and I love pickles, and they're good for your digestive system they're too, so by the way. Good. Yeah. So, so uh, how about? Uh, I was nervous. I was on Doctor Oz, and I was nervous that he was going to tell me, like, "Oh, it's so full of sodium; it's a bad snack." And instead, he said, "This is a perfect snack." It is a perfect you. snack. He's like, absolutely great. right. It's great yeah. for your digestive system. And you hit. A, you mentioned a couple of really important things: spices and crunch, or spices and texture. And it, yeah. uh, it, you can exploit spices and texture as appetite suppressant and for satisfaction. So you don't have to struggle. You don't, it doesn't have to be a, a suffering kind of thing. Losing weight doesn't have, it doesn't have to entail pain and suffering and angst exactly. the way we think it does. And, and, I, but, and I, you know what, when I, when I started this, I, you know, if you would have said to me, okay, listen, you're going to give up everything you like and, you know, for the next year and you're only going to lose about a pound a week, I would have said, no way, not happening, because we want everything yesterday. And if, if not yesterday, okay, tomorrow. We want everything so fast. And one of the big things I learned was to give myself the luxury of time. And mm. in the course of a year, I lost 62 pounds that first year, as I told you. And the year went by. When I look at it in wow. retrospect, yeah. the, the year flew by. It you always know? does, so Tori. You ask it al- yourself. It always does, right? right. Yeah, it so always you ask does. ask yourself, if I started now, what amazing thing could I accomplish if in I took year? consistent action every day for the next year? That's awesome. And it flies Tor- by. Tori, we're out of time. We're out of time. The hour flew by. The half hour flew by. I appreciate you being on the air. Mm-hmm. The book is called The Shift. It's on Amazon, right? You get it at bookstores everywhere, correct? Bookstores everywhere. All right. And what's your website, Tori, real quick for the listeners? Shiftwithtori.com. Shiftwithtori.com. Shift with Tori. All the connections to me there. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Tori. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. That was Tori Thank Johnson. You. Her book's The Shift, How I Finally Lost Weight and Discovered a Happier Life. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll talk... Continue talking about prostaglandins and hormone health. You're listening, you've been listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Have yourselves a spectacular, wonderful, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. Do you have troubled skin? Acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive Plus, your acne can heal and you can help prevent new breakouts from happening. Don't miss this limited time offer. Give us a call at 800-538-5252 because we're going to let a million people try Proactive Plus risk-free and get two free gifts and also receive free shipping when you call right now. You heard it. This offer won't last long. So call Proactive Plus now and you'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial of Proactive Plus, two free extras, and free shipping. Call 800-538-5252. This is our exclusive radio offer, never on TV. Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive Plus with free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Don't wait. Call 800 800-5- 538